My name is Johnny Kim, and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Social Welfare. Solution-focused brief therapy is a strength-based uh, intervention that has really gotten very popular, especially among social workers and mental health professionals. It's a different way of working with clients. Usually the typical approach when working with clients in a therapy session is around uh, what we call sort of problem talk. Solution-focused brief therapy really try to ask questions and center the conversations around solutions, really figuring out the strengths of the clients, the resources that they have, and trying to f identify what they're doing right so that they can continue to amplify those positive behaviors that'll lead to sort of bigger changes in their lives in the direction that they hope to attain. A study that I recently published looked at the effectiveness of solution-focused brief therapy in school settings, and what we found was that students really uh, did better in terms of conduct behavior problems, externalizing behavior problems. And so we wanted to try to see how we can implement solution-focused brief therapies in school settings, especially around the issue of class management behavior. We train teachers to use solution-focused brief therapy techniques in interacting with their students to try to focus on their positive strengths, some of the things that they're doing right, and trying to engage students in the classroom rather uh, than taking it, removing them out of the classroom settings, which is sort of the normal approach to dealing with disruptive students. We're also interested not only about the students uh, behaviors, but also how this WOW intervention affects the teachers as well, uh, mainly around issues of burnout, because we know through research that teachers who are dealing with uh, classrooms that are highly disruptive uh, can lead to sort of higher burnout rates as well as frustration and uh, stress levels. So we're hoping to examine how uh, this WOW intervention will impact those issues for the teachers themselves so that they'll be more effective and have less stress and less teacher burnout. The studies that we've done and published around this issue of an alternative dropout prevention using solution-focused brief therapy techniques has really shown to uh, really help the students uh, finish schools, get caught up, as well as uh, around issues of behavioral uh, conduct to minimize those sorts of uh, classroom disruptions as well. KU School Social Welfare is known for the, being the leader in terms of uh, the strengths perspective. Uh, a lot of uh, the faculty members, uh, past and current, have, have brought the idea of focusing on client strengths as a way to work with clients versus the more sort of problem-centered uh, medical model approach in our profession. And so that has really sort of originated from KU School of Social Welfare. We take teaching very seriously because we're training students to go out and work with vulnerable populations. These are uh, people who are going to be in crises that may be suicidal, that may be at a point where they feel like they have no hope, that they have no uh, outlets to help uh, them with their issues and problems and so they turn to professional social workers to help them. When they're working with clients it's really important to understand what the client needs are to be able to understand the different ways to address those problems and using research to identify what's the most efficient and effective techniques and trying to link that research back to the classroom so that we can train students to be the most effective social workers out there so that they can help a lot of students or a lot of uh, individuals who are who are struggling. 